Hello everyone and welcome and in today's video we will be looking at how to use the tarot for spiritual development. Discovering your spiritual path. In a world full of noise, finding your spiritual path can be tricky. Tarot, often seen as just predicting the future, can also be a powerful tool that can help you understand yourself better and that can help you for spiritual development. Tarot is really like a mirror reflecting your journey. It's a way to explore, gain insights and grow. As you embark on this tarot journey, embrace it not just as a divination tool, but as a companion in uncovering the mysteries of your own soul. The Spiritual Essence of Tarot Tarot, in its spiritual form, goes beyond predictions. It's like a language with, with each of the 78 cards telling quite a unique story. The Major Arcana talks about big life events, while the Minor covers everyday stuff. Unlike the one-size-fits-all approach that you might find on mainstream platforms these days, Spiritual Tarot dives deep into your unique journey, offering personalized insights. Each card is a chapter in the book of your life, a snapshot of a moment in your personal story. So what are the benefits of exploring spiritual tarot? Using tarot for spiritual development comes with loads of benefits actually. It's like a road map for understanding yourself, giving you clarity when things get confusing. The cards act as guides, showing patterns in your thoughts and behaviors, helping you to evolve. This practice makes you feel empowered, trusting your intuition to navigate life's twists and turns. And as you build this relationship with your cards, you're not just reading the future, you are actively shaping it with newfound wisdom. Tarot Basics – Speaking a New Language before getting all spiritual, let's understand the basics at least. The tarot deck has 78 cards, each with its own story, as I said previously. Major arcana cards talk about life events when a minor arcana deals with everyday things. Learning the meaning and the intuitive messages of these cards is like picking up a new language. Your subconscious just gets it. So take your time with learning this language. It's not just about memorizing the meaning of the cards, but understanding the nuances and the unique voice that each card has in your personal story. Connecting with your deck, making it yours. So think of your tarot deck as a phone line to the spiritual world. To keep it clear, you've got to clean it. Hold each card and put your vibe into it uh, through your own intention. Some people use crystals, moonlight or incense for a good cleansing. This not only cleans the cards, but also makes them yours, making your readings much more effective. It's like creating a direct line with the energies beyond the cards, establishing a connection that ampl amplifies the messages they carry for you. Meditation and the tarot, it's a team effort.
Meditation is like the middleman between the real world and the spiritual world. Before you read the cards, chill out in meditation to quiet your mind, to center yourself and to make that connection. When you shuffle the deck, let your intentions just flow. This makes your intuition sharper, adding a deeper vibe to your readings. Meditation isn't just a prelude. It's a partnership with your cards, enhancing the energy exchange and tuning you into the subtleties of the messages they hold. Assuming the archetypal energies embody the card's wisdom. Beyond readings, try assuming the archetypal energy of a tarot card in order to develop certain qualities symbolized by the card. This is more than just understanding. It's actively embodying the lessons. For instance, let's look at the Fool. The Fool talks about the start of a journey. The energy that you can assume with the full card is to embrace the unknown with a sense of curiosity. Assume the energy of stepping into new experiences without fear. And in your journaling practice, questions that you can ask are things like, what new stuff am I hesitant to explore? How can I trust the journey unfolding? Let's look at the high priestess. Trust your gut. The energy that you can assume with the High Priestess card is to trust your inner wisdom. Assume the energy of listening to your intuition without any doubts. Journaling questions that you can answer. What gut feelings have I been ignoring? How can I amp up my intuition game? And as a last example, let's look at the star card, hope and healing. The energy that you can assume with the star card is the energy of good things that are coming. So assume the energy of hope and healing in your daily life. Journaling questions that you can ask here are where in my life um, what in my life needs a boost? How can I get in sync with the good flow of love and abundance? Daily life. Tarot for everyday stuff. Tarot isn't just for big releva revelations. <laughs> Tarot isn't just for the big things, the big revelations. It's uh, actually handy for everyday life as well. So, pull a card daily and think about what it means in your life right now. What lesson can you take from it? This daily routine keeps you mindful, helping you to learn more about yourself every single day day. It's not about waiting for grand revelations. It's about finding the magic in the ordinary and using it to enrich your journey every step of the way. Tarot rituals, making it a habit. Create rituals to deepen your spiritual connection and to continue to propel you forward with your spiritual development. Maybe a weekly spread for reflection or a monthly session to set intentions. Make these rituals yours. They will keep you on track, helping you to stay tuned in to your spiritual journey and development. Rit rituals are not just routines, they truly are anchors that ground your practice, making the spiritual journey a consistent and evolving part of your life. To conclude this video, your tarot, your guide, as you dive into this tarot journey, remember the cards are symbols that open doors 
to your inner world. By exploring the spiritual side of tarot, you not only understand your path, but also wake up parts of yourself. Allow the cards to be your friends, guiding you toward the deep wisdom inside of you. Your tarot journey is definitely a very personal story and every single card is a chapter. Your guide in discovering the story that unfolds from within. Stay blessed everyone.